Hi Jack, thanks so much for joining us today. Can you tell, can you introduce, first of all, can you introduce yourself and can you tell us a little bit more about Koalabot? So my name is Jack Draper or Jade Wee. Uh, I'm the project manager for Koalabot. Um, Koalabot's a free open source piece of software um, being developed as a Discord bot, um, being made by students for students, um, by students around the UK. Our aim is currently to ensure that the University Society committee leaders uh, can access everything they need from one easy to use Discord bot um, to hopefully improve not only their Discord server, but their society as a whole. Um, so yeah, we're aiming to complete it uh, before freshers so people can use it before then. Amazing. So how did you come up with the idea for the bot? Um, well, we've used bots quite a lot, so I'm president for um, Southampton Video Game Society. Um, they've used them for quite a while now, and since like every time a new committee comes in, they go, oh, I can add this thing to the bot. But then instead of using the same bot, they normally end up um, replacing it with a new bot that then some people don't know how to use. And then sometimes we have multiple bots. Um, and the aim, like we've got some for checking membership, some for verifying whether you're a student or not. Um, so the aim for Koala Bot is, uh, was originally just to create another SVG bot that allows all the students to uh, contribute by using a well-known programming language. Um, and also because they, uh, due to the pandemic at the moment, uh, a lot of the internships were stopped, so I needed something to do during the summer. Um, but as I was doing that, I was also looking around at other Discord societies done within the UK um, and wondering what I could take from those, what like I could give to those as like help. Um, and realized that a lot of these uh, Discord societies often check users individually as to whether they're um, whether they're part of the society and they do a lot of the stuff that we have automation for um, by hand. And it was just uh, something that I thought could definitely be helpful to other societies. So decided to change it from just being an SVG bot to being a bot that everyone could use. Yeah, so it sounds like the bot is gonna have a lot of functionality that, you know, a lot of other smaller bots that can do at the same time uh, but it's all going to combine everything into one bot that is specifically designed for uh esports societies isn't it like is there anything else unique about it or is it just purely designed to work for the societies and that's your main goal so our aim is um to allow not just societies but any societies communities uh whether you're esports or not um just have it really as simple to use as we can make it uh, with a web dashboard similar to other bots like um, if people have used things like Carlbot or Streamcord, um, they've got really useful web dashboards that you can use. Um, so our aim is to eventually get one of those out ready for our bot so that uh, committees can easily pass over, just say, okay, this is the website you need to use for the Discord bot and all of the stuff will be on there. Easy to work out the differences between um and yeah so we're just aiming for everyone to be able to use it really so you mentioned that there's uh quite a few people working on on the bot could you tell us more who who are the other you know, students working on a bot is it just your society other societies um so we currently have a team of eight people um all volunteers five of them are currently southampton students and three of them are from imperial college london um, however, we are very interested in adding more uh, developers, no matter where you're from. Uh, so, yeah, um, as long as you've got some sort of Python knowledge, um, whether you're interested in joining the team directly or whether you're just interested in using the open source-ness uh, of the bot and just creating yourself something on there and then asking us to add that, then we can do that as well. Yeah. What would you say, because it sounds like You've been working on quite a few months on, on the bot by now, haven't you? What would you say was the A, most challenging part of it, and B, the most fun part of, of the whole process? So, 
I think the most challenging part is definitely, um, I don't know. It's, I'll go with the most fun because that's quite easy. Uh, the most fun was definitely getting other people involved. Um, whether it was getting other developers involved, getting um, societies involved, getting, um, we've had feedback from uh, the Newell feedback from other esports societies and it's been great to hear all that feedback and suggestions and being able to program that into the bot. Um, the hardest thing is probably uh, getting or trying to get the actual development done because um, a lot of people, this isn't a full-time job, this is volunteers, so you can't be like, right, you must get this done by then. Um, and some people might have things to do and things just pop up out of nowhere and you can't really say no because I'm at my job because it's not a job um so that's probably the most challenging part is yeah, it's, um, it, getting the, it all done <laughs> the joys of working with students at all times isn't it yes. um <laughs> you mentioned you want to release the bot before freshers week but I'm uh do you are you planning on to keep on developing the bot in the future you know what can we expect from koala bot in the upcoming months so originally when it was planned to just be an svg bot then i was thinking right i'll get that done during the summer and i'll be done with it but since it's now turned into a team of people working on it and become a lot more than just a summer project um we're looking on getting a couple things done after the freshers week um things like adding more uh more extensions is what we're calling them um so more functionality basically to the bot um and having that from uh, suggestions from within the communities and um anything that the societies think would be useful we're definitely taking those into account and we've got a couple ideas already um that we're definitely looking into uh producing Unfortunately, our front end is a little bit behind at the moment. However, that should be done shortly after Freshers. So that's our current aim for the future, but we also plan to just keep developing on it as we go. Yeah, amazing. So where can people find out more information about the bot, about you know your whole team or get involved by either testing thing, the thing or you know getting involved as a, a programmer and developer? Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about the project, um, whether to help with testing or suggest additions, um, you can find the Discord link on our website at uh, koalabot.uk. At the moment, that doesn't exist, but shortly it will. Currently, it redirects straight to our Discord, society, or Discord support server, which is exactly where you'll find all of the developers and they can help you with anything and would love your feedback in there. Um, we're also looking for more developers, as I said earlier, um, with knowledge of Python. Um, so if you are interested, head over to that Discord server and message us on there, and we'll be very interested in having you on the team. Amazing. Well, thanks so much for, for joining us today. I will leave the links to your website, your Discord, and everything else on in the video description. So if anyone is interested and can't find the link, just uh, check out the description and you'll be able to find it. But uh, once again, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.